Good morning to all Go Plugin community members. Good morning and good day. I'm Raghu from our Go Plugin team. Hope everyone is doing sound and safe. Today we are going to see the demo of one click deployment feature for our node deployment. Many of our uh, community members requested a simple step for the node installation. We developed this feature to ease out the node installation process. In this one-click deployment feature, we used Docker for the node installation. This feature has two scripts, uh, which will install the Docker and a uh, node. Just you need to invoke the two scripts and it will take care of all your uh, passwords, uh, configurations, everything. The uh, node install script is interactive in nature. So while you pass on your credentials like your mail ID, password, etc., please pay attention to the format which the script is asking you to input and also save those passwords and credentials in a file for your reference. So we get into the demo part. So before getting to the demo part, I just want to show the system requirements. So the operating system is 20.04. For this demo, we got a, a fresh AWS instance. And uh, I'll show you the OS version, what we're using for this demo, which is uh, 20.04. And the RAM is 2 GB minimum is expected, more the better. We got around 4 GB of RAM and the storage space is 50 GB. So we got around 50 GB. And uh, I just want to show the members that we, we don't have any Docker pre-installed in this mission. Now, now get onto copying our code base. So you can get the code base from our uh, GitHub official page and uh, go plugin plugin deployment. You can copy the GitHub handler from here. Clicking on the link, the handler will be copied. Uh, you can clone the repo using git clone. What are your copy? Just paste it over here. Now we got the code base. So this is, these are all the uh, the manual scripts which we used previously to install the node part. It uh, requires uh, uh, the changes like API credentials, passwords, everything you need to uh, change or make the files, everything. So all the pains will be taken over by this one click. So these are the two scripts, install node and install Docker. So to make the script work, first we need to change the file permission. Now we got to execute permission for all these two installation files. Now we are going to install the node, install the Docker, I'm sorry, install the Docker first. That's the first step. I'm going to pause this uh, uh, video for some time because it, it has to download and uh, install. Once the installation is done successfully, it's completely automated. You don't need to do anything. Install Docker will not ask you any command or anything like that. So I'm going to pause this. So once a script is run successfully, you will get this stage like it will show you the node is active, uh, Docker, uh, Docker is active and running and it will show this lines end. So to come out of this, you need to press Control C in your keyboard. Once it is done, then you can go ahead and install the node.
as I mentioned, um, this install node will install all your dependencies, Postgres SQL, whatever need, needed for the node to operate. It'll install everything. I think again, again, I'm going for a pass because it will take some time. No, okay, it's going good. So shortly we will uh, complete this downloading part, setting up part, we will enter into the installation steps. So I don't want to uh, pass now. Yeah, now the script is asking for your credentials. So it will ask your valid mail ID. So I'm giving a valid mail ID. Now, please pay attention. As I mentioned earlier, please pay attention to the password format. i read through this. Type a password for your node login. This is the password for your node login. It should have at least eight characters with two uppercase, two lowercase, two digits, and one special character. Uh, combined together, there's a minimum requirement. Combined together, you can have uh, seven uh, with this, but you can introduce one more, uh, either the uppercase or a lowercase, or one more digit like that. Now, the script validated the password and uh, it finds out the pa password, whatever I typed in, is as per the format and is valid. Now it is asking for a Postgres DB password. And here the password should be four characters, one upper on one lawyer, one digit, and it should not contain any special characters, no special characters allowed for this Postgres password. So Postgres password is also valid. Now we need to type the key store password. Here, the password must be longer than 12 characters, contain at least three uppercase characters, three lowercase characters, three numbers, and three characters. So it comes together, it will come uh, 12. You can put one more character because it's, uh, it's been mentioned as longer than, so it, it has to come for 13 characters. So put one more character, either make it as a four uppercase character, Okay, I'm going to make it as a four uppercase character, three lowercase character, three numbers, and three special characters. In the special characters, don't put a space. So once you're given everything, once you're given all, all your credentials, it will go for the pulling uh, the uh, Docker image. So it will take quite some time. I'm going to pass this uh, till uh, it gets completed. So the image has been pulled up. And now your node has started. Mm -hmm. 
your external external initiator is also started so we can uh, verify this uh, using the ui part so we can log into the ui part I need to queue the um, IP address so everybody knows it is double six double eight is support. I'm sorry, I gave on the wrong IP. Yes, two thirty eight. Thirty-eight to thirty-five. Yeah. Now we've got the UI uh, login page. You can just log in with the email or uh, whatever. Uh, you register while uh, running the install uh, underscore uh, node.sh so that uh, since uh, for this purpose i asked you to store the credentials whatever the information you are giving typing the password everything store it so that here it will be useful you can give the email id and the password associated with that email id whatever you have given in that uh, while running the install node.sh We are able to see this uh, node page. So after this, you need to do all the uh, Oracle deployment uh, jobs, run jobs, uh, uh, testing the alarm, everything. You can do it easily. So I, ho I hope uh, this will be really quick and easy step to install the node. So I request uh, the team, the community members, to go through this and get benefited. And Thank you. Thank you for uh, watching this uh, video.